Now the weather's not looking so promising this this afternoon, but welcome anyways. There's Daisy, and we're up here. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye to the Brads. Yes, I'm going to give a final picking from them, and I think basically clear everything out and just get it all just ready for next year. To be honest, I'm using this side at the moment. Actually, they're getting a little bit hammered. Probably a little snail or something. But they've been fantastic. Honestly, I cannot fault these. They're just, every time you even give them to someone, Brad's Atomic Grape, it's like the best tomato they've, they've ever had. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to try and get rid of all that, this whole lot. I just need to go through now and just strip every kind of final one. Because even when you pick, these just don't last that long in the house. Actually, I need two. Ones that are spoiled, but I'll keep them for seed as well. And ones that are for the kitchen table. And they don't go in the fridge. No, 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 no. Just on the kitchen table. So that's this first row stripped. So it's, it's kind of nothing left to do really but to take them down <laughs> i think i'll bring the the wheelbarrow in that right dears when i got up this morning it was like a gorgeous shorts back on but there's a chill come over and it just looks like it's gonna rain as well so and the basil is going out as well there still seems to be nice crops on there but like i say i'm pick they're all ready to pick so just pick them and get them get them home for the last the last hurrah she's getting there getting there the bar is getting full found the label so i planted these or sowed these brads on the 15th of the third so you can see we're nearly we're nearly getting with her days and then she's going to be empty left fallow <laughs> that's what i'm thinking let's see if i can get this lot up to the, the compost bin No, I didn't. I dropped the bloody thing. <laughs> this is the path I just brushed the other day. I can get through there. And then get this load on. So gone oh we're gonna actually see that i did get some <laughs> hungarian hot wax not the best crops i'll be honest but i've got some there and i did get <laughs> melon but i got two there's a little one over there as well i don't know it feels kind of <laughs> that's the biggest melon i got so they're just a couple of the the mustards and there's a little lettuce in there where i'll probably pull that and just give this a nice tidy over i don't know if you can see there but i'm just taking this pepper i'm, I'm picking them and keeping them because they're all getting used but that's me little can you see the little i forget what they're called now but i, I really like them like the, oh, what they're called but for group doing the propagating the seeds nice little things and the work <laughs> everyone seems to germinate with it Time now to put away the pots. <laughs> For another year. Round, round the back of the where I keep these along with the weeds put them there put 
pull that weed out actually. A couple of nasty weeds in there. Oh, lots of fungi. You see them? Right, so just gonna give it a little tickle with the hoe in the rake and then, just to get it, you know what I mean? Looking, so I'm not kind of stressing about it. <laughs> Middle of winter, it's all done. It's the odd weed there. Well, there we go. She's all, <laughs> it's all stark. God, it's, it's a weird feeling, to be honest. So I've still got a few little, what's that again? Flat leaf parsley, a couple of, like you say, the mustards there, those carrots. I'll be pulling all those carrots from that tub next, because I'm in for a couple of nights now, so, but, and I'm normally on teas when I'm off. So they'll be the next ones to go. I did send, because it was my brother, my brother, my son's birthday, a read on the 7th, and I sent them two there. I says, don't open it until you are all drunk one night. I sent them two Carolina Reapers down. So I'll be picking them next and drying them out. God knows what I'm going to do with them. But that's it. The beetroot I've been having a look at, it's ready to go. I'll show you what, in the end, the final crop was. I picked as well from over there the final that's be final be um be bloody rhubarb it'll make a tiny one but it'll do for me and then the tomatoes a few chilies and i don't know if these will be worth it's gonna just take them down that's it okay then look after yourself take good care